Hurry up, she's coming for you! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel, everyone! I'm the Global Cherry, and today, we'll be continuing Remothered Broken Porcelain for Spooktober. To keep the haunted entities away, subscribe, like the video, and share the video. Oh, why did the creepy noises have to start already? Look at that metronome. Why is it there? I'm pretty sure I saw some pesticides here. Maybe it could be used to get rid of her. I guess she's still working. Let's find out what's in room 13. Quietly? This is supposed to be the hotel. But it feels more like an orphanage. Let's go check out room 213, shall we? The door isn't opening. Jennifer, there's this thing called push. You should try it sometime. Jennifer, open the door. There's no power. It won't work. There's no power. Wait. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a sound effect over there. The fact it didn't make any noise was kind of weird. Ooh, electrical cable. We found something for the power, maybe. Yes, yes, please. Yes, I did it. Yes, we repaired the power. Yes, yes, yes. We found the code. Yes, we have the balcony keys, finally. Whoa, it's winter in this time for the story. Freedom, though. We experience sweet freedom. Oh, God. I'm freezing. Ah! Oh, gosh. You have to find me now. Run. Run. Did you see me? No, don't crouch right now. Did you just fall off the balcony? Run. Did you see me? Why is my screen red? Because she's close by? Fantastic! The window. I must find a way to reach it. Hurry up! She's coming for you! Come on! I made it! I can do it! I can do it! Okay, we're finally in here, but what did we gain from this? The birds are going to make a lot of noise. Birds, shut up. What are all these cages doing here? I don't know. Andrea has a weird hobby. Ah, oh, so Marta Ashman died of natural causes. No, no. No, don't make that much noise. Oh, shit. coming. No, 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 no. Mommy shouldn't come here. Hide. She's coming. Well, these birds and you have so much in common. The birds are loud, just like you. Mommy's here. The master key? Is that what we need to escape? Mommy is exhausted. One of these days, you're all going to make me crazy. As if you're not already crazy. Okay. We need to take the master key. While she sleeps. From what I know, she's very sensitive. So any noise can wake her up. I have to be quiet. Hello? I pressed crouch. What's going on? I'm scared. Tippy toe. Tippy toe. You need to wear different shoes. Oh! 
We took the master key. Let's find our way out. Okay, let's open this door. Why do I feel like she's going to grab my hand? I can't move. I can't move. You have got to be kidding me. Don't crouch. I didn't crouch. Where do you think you're going? Stab her. Jennifer. Why is the music harmonizing? No, I didn't crouch. What the hell, Jennifer? I pressed run. You're so dumb. Don't you dare open this box. Smash you in pieces with my own hands. <gasps> Did she lose me? I'm staying in this box forever. I knew that was a trick question. Oh! I'm no, 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 no. You cannot hear me. Two, I mean, two and a half? Why? You don't know I'm in this box, woman. Here I come. Looks like our objective is to defeat Andrea. So I stabbed her once. I'm not sure how many times she needs to be stabbed. But I'll do as much as I have to to keep her down. Where did my items go? I remember I put a ton of them here. Ooh, distraction. Can we do that? This is so creepy now that we're hiding in a shower stall. Don't turn around. Hey, ah! Ah! That's where you came from. How did she find me? How? That is so not fair. <laughs> I was so close to getting her, but she seems to know where I am. Oh! God damn it! God! Jennifer, I'm going to kill you myself if you don't do anything. Oh no! Oh, okay! Frick! What the? Where are you? I stabbed you. Run. Ah! Uh, I have to hide. Come here, you. You cannot find me. That is perfect. Yes. Hey, over here. I'm here. Please go elsewhere. Mom, Dad, where are you? Jennifer, stop crying. We got her once. We can get her again. Is she coming? Jennifer? Is that you? Yes! Get her! Get her! Ah, it hurts! Yes! Finally! Oh! Okay, it's time to run right now. How is she still alive after that many stabs? Yeah, please leave me alone, lady. Uh -huh. 
coming. I got you. Ah, you're hurting me. Run. Aha! Uh -huh. ah, stop! I defeated her. Seriously? Yes, I have the master key. We can finally go. Freedom. monster just knocked me down the stairs? I'm glad we get to escape Andrea, though. Still no news regarding last night's massacre at the peaceful residence of Cervo Scuro, where the body of Richard Oh, isn't Felton that the guy from the original Remother? Richard Felton, yeah. Jennifer Richard Dean Felton and was found completely oh, is that us? The body of 38-year-old Gloria Ashman was also found at the scene. She was his personal assistant and a former nun at the prison. Gloria Ashman. Her body was found mutilated after she was reported thrown out of Oh, this is the main the character window. from the original remother. The neighbors claimed to have spotted a distinctive woman. So this is another time period. Having parked a white van nearby. Oh. Well, it looks like we have to change our identity, our country. Missing lost child Celeste Felton. Interesting. Missing. February 8th, 1971. Celeste Felton, 13 years old. Beloved adopted daughter of Richard Felton and Ariana Gallo. You ran away from home, isn't that so? Why did you end up in this godforsaken place? So, I guess we're looking into the Celeste Felton? So where are we and what are we doing here? Unknown parents? It's you, isn't it? Celeste Felton. It's her? So she's the missing daughter, Celeste Felton. Miss, Mr. Ashman is waiting for you. Oh, wasn't it that guy we saw at the beginning? Did you say Reed? Are you relative? More like an old family friend. I guess we'll know what their Come relation in, is. Reed. Come in. Don't be afraid. I don't fight. That makes me not want to go near you even more. What is Reed? Hun. Woo. Mr. Ashman. You've certainly What happened to you? You have gone from simple Ashman all the way to Looks extremely injured. Person. Are you here to broaden your resume? Do you remember me? I'll never forget a face. Maybe because I don't have one anymore. Oh gosh. Yeah, no, you still have a face. I know it exactly just looks why more you're here. unpleasant. The same exact reason why that son of a bitch Felton ended up like cooked meat. Whatever happened to Celeste Felton? So what happened to Jennifer? I have here a dossier from the Flemington Girls Institute granting custody of 15-year-old girl Jennifer and certifying that she is to be a housekeeper at this hotel. Celeste Felton and the girl in the photo are the same person. When I thought the hotel was they? actually a hospital in the first episode? That girl was simply an orphan, a homeless nobody. And so I decided to take custody of her. And she just so happened to be the adoptive daughter of your former hated business partner, Felton, by pure coincidence? <laughs> I don't buy it. Sounds very sus. So, you're saying that besides synthesizing pharmaceutical drugs and spreading diseases, Mr. Felton and yourself were all dedicated to helping homeless minors? It was never about synthesizing a disease. Because the disease never existed. And you created it. And the moths. Oh, looks like the cutscene is ending. Woken up. Whoa! Hey, hey, calm down. God, your face is always you. so terrifying. No, it wasn't a dream. It's, 
It's not a dream. You, you have to believe me, please. You hit your head and lost a lot of blood. It was as if you were dead. Oh, so it was that real. Crazy. You must that thing drink threw me down the stairs. Me. She wanted to kill me. <laughs> That's not possible, Jennifer. <laughs> Can we keep me? Here you go. Andrea, far away? <laughs> Don't shove the water I'm in my face. Sure of what I saw. Everything is all right now. Calm down. Is this it going to be those things in horror movies where it's man, like it's all just a dream? A, a, a strange wooden stick to cover up like what is spine. real? Poor Slim. That man is dead, young lady. Oh, no, I, I saw him. He was the one who pushed me down the stairs. You called him Wyman. That Wyman is no longer that Professor thing has Wyman. A name? Andrea, that man is dead and has been for a long time. He hung himself. Can we just see, move to a different hotel? You were hotel? just dreaming. I, no, that is I, I, too I, scary I, to be just understand. a dream. Jen, you have to calm down now. Guys, are you, you guys not me. looking at Did my you? wounds on my arm and my torso right now? Me. Right? <laughs> She should oh, get some she looks so now. torn up about it. <laughs> Jen, if you need anything? I'm here for you. Supportive friendship? A few months before. Oh, this is getting interesting. They're switching from time period to another time period. So is this when we decided to be a housekeeper at a hotel? If you fly, you lose something. She looks so much more calm then. Listen to me. Excuse me? Uh, are you new? I suppose so. I love that song. Let's be friends. Where are you from? Flemington Girls Institute. What did you do? What do you mean? You really want you to start the conversation this way? A real problem. Listen, I'm not up for making conversation. I was gonna share my oh, Spotify, oh, but it's too I'm late. Sorry, I guess. I was hoping we would get to know each other better. That's all. I'm into illegal organ and drug trafficking. In my spare time, I exchange sex for cigarettes. Nice. <laughs> She's like, nice. A controversial political activist, promoter of black slavery and preservation of the Aryan race. Only oh, that's another time. thing. Very well. You're right. I'm a real handful. Now, if you will excuse me. I guess Jen wasn't the social type. The pleasure was all mine. <laughs> okay, this is a good scene to calm down to after all that screaming. What's wrong, Lynn? I beg you, wake up! What's going on? Shit, they drugged you! Wait, what? Listen, you have to leave! You have to get away from this place! So I was right, it's not a dream. This story... Let's Again, get out of here. Everything you said before, I believe you. Porcelain you believe and me? everything else you saw. Oh, you she couldn't say it in front of them. He hung himself years ago. Jen, after him, everything you looked at, you think it's a Professor dream. Professor Albert Elias Wyman. The same walking stick you were talking about. See? Let me see. That does look like him. He looks more human in this one. He looked like a walking baby face of death earlier it was all an act there was Lynn, no body. let's run away from the hotel been, it wouldn't have been his i don't i don't understand there's no time we to have to get out of here they know who you are they know who i am oh they know she's celeste what are you talking about why didn't you ever say anything to me I what's tried going on to warn you i tried to to get you to leave, but you never understood, for fuck's sake! You could have clarified it better, instead of I get am? out of here. Celeste Felton. Me. 
No, uh, I don't know. Uh, oh God, Lynn, I can't remember. You can't remember. They found you and they brought you here to use you. And now that they are sure of who they think you are, you have to run. Also, they're Fucking sure of her identity. Hell, Lynn, just tell me. That drug, the disease. And what does that have so to do So the disease with, me? with the moths making everyone Your crazy. Mother. She used loads of it. You got it from her. Richard Felton? It's a part of you. Your organism hasn't shown any side effects. Your body lives in harmony with it. You can even control it. And they know it. Look me in the eyes, Jen. Look at me. You mustn't do anything or trust anyone. Lesson in anyone. horror games. Don't trust Is anyone. Is the reason why we met? Have you been pretending to be my friend this whole time? No, Jen. It had nothing to do with this. I've always been honest with you. Oh, so her Lynn, friendship was real. Lynn. Everything else was fake. Oh, God, no. What's going Again. on? What's that noise? My head. What is happening? When a mother moth perceives the Who is narrating my situation right now? I'm having a migraine. Throne. She does everything. Lynn, is did you ditch me? To maintain control over the others. <gasps> Therefore, eliminating the threat. That voice sounds terrifying. Lynn, where are you? What's going on? Who else is going to chase me? Go to room 211 and find the keys for the manager's office. What room have, is this? He's sleeping. Oh! You have to be as quiet as possible. Look at him, and is he wearing his shoes while he sleeps? Ugh! Looks like he's sleeping peacefully. Sleep tight, sleeping beauty. Yep. He's sleeping pretty well. Don't mind me, I just want your keys. Don't let him catch you. Hopefully he's a heavy sleeper. What's going on? Ashmid. Who's this? Hi, Stefano, it's me, Ariana. Oh. I know it was you earlier. I know it was Wasn't that Richard's wife? I beg you. Stop tormenting us. I beg you, please, stop. Yes, it's true, I did love you once. But so much time has passed, too much time. It couldn't work, and it didn't. I am a married woman now, whether you like it or not, so get over it. And as for Richard, despite not oh, having so a choice, I stayed by his side when he, he endured has this all that shit that with you Ariana Gallo. Through. Let us deal with our pain. Forget about us. Forget about me. Have some respect for us, a godforsaken couple who will never see their little girl ever again. You can see me again? I wish you could understand. Please, save me from this maniacal hotel staff. Let us be. Dad. Oh gosh. Is this so what those are your parents. <gasps> Mr. Ashman, please. Lower that gun. You said everything I saw was a dream. Ashman, put down the gun. Intention. Then drop Why the won't gun. Let me go then. I have no choice, <laughs> Celeste. I am not Celeste. Quit the act. <gasps> You're the only one who can stop it. The phenoxyl disease? Please, Mr. Ashman, I beg of you, let me is go. Is that a stereo sign of something? Because exactly I keep hearing it during the game. Excuse me. Panoxel made her lose her mind. She had to get in the way. I love Ariana. Why did she keep this apart? At least she was a bigger man than you are. She had to be shown who was the Oh no, man. he's in that form. Did she not learn her lesson when I fucked her? You are disgusting. Sir, you are disgusting. The fire extinguisher. Maybe I can use it to my advantage. Oh! Oh, 
Okay, go. Oh. Run, 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 run. I didn't choose to be your father. Please run. If you know I'm your daughter, then don't shoot me. You prick. This is terrifying. He's even more terrifying than Andrea. I think that's enough for today. We defeated Andrea and we are almost going to lose our lives to Ashman. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, like the video, and share the video. Especially if you want more Spooktober videos. Thank you for watching and that's all.